Welcome to Audio College. Welcome to Audio College. Connecting a Novation Launchpad to the computer is easy. Just plug in the USB cable. Connecting the Launchpad to Virtual DJ is another story. Before doing anything else, you will need a definitions file for your Launchpad. You can write your own in an XML document, or look in this video's description for a download link to one that's already been completed. Once you have a completed definitions file, Place it in Virtual DJ's Devices folder within your documents. Now you need a mapper file. Once again, download links are in the description. Once your mapper file is loaded in Virtual DJ's Mappers folder, load Virtual DJ. If you did everything correctly, the top left button of your launchpad will light up green. Now open Virtual DJ's Settings window and go to the Mappers tab. Here you can start mapping your launchpad to Virtual DJ. You can key learn the buttons or scroll through the list provided. B stands for button, and LED A, Y, R, or G represent a button's LED color, be it amber, yellow, red, or green. You'll need to know VDJ script to maximize the launchpad's limitless possibilities when connected to Virtual DJ. You can have buttons on the launchpad control simple actions or complex macros. Even use it to select the next song in your set list. Check the related videos section for more videos on VDJ script, Novation Launchpads, Virtual DJ, and controlling Virtual DJ with Novation Launchpads. And don't forget to check this video's description, as well as Audio College's website, for download links to the device files and mapper files used in this video, as well as others Audio College has created for the Novation Launchpad.